Welcome back to another video. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for Top Fuel Teachers. So, Aidy, looks like you've been out in Project D. E. Let's take a look at your video. Thank you, Chris. Yep, so today we're heading to North Weald to go back to Steve's breakfast meet. We went there before in the Primera, and we're also joined by George, who is an ex-student of ours. So we're gonna have a look around some cars, and um, we'll see what we got. So we're here now, as you can see. Lots of, uh, lots of cars here. So come take a walk around the meet with me and George. Now, straight away, straight away, I really like this Chevy Nova. It's, uh, it's a bit of me, that is. It really is a bit of me. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Do like that. And then over here, we've got another Chevy, that, which again, I quite like. It's a good thing about these meets here. There is so much variety of, of cars here. There's a lot of Mustangs, they all came in together. Uh, if they leave together, it could be absolute carnage. But uh, that is all good. It's only gonna be a quick, quick look round. There's a track M3 coming in now, I believe. All caged up. I think we've seen that one before. Maybe not on this channel, maybe on uh, my other channel, Road Dog Aid. Got a lovely looking Capri over here. Mark III Capri with a Mark II Capri front grille. Renault Laguna splitter from back in the day. Popular thing. There's a little polo over there with the Bennett and colours. George took quite a shine to that. Got a couple of Lotus Coltons there. You can see a lot of these cars on my other channel, Roadhog underscore aid. They'll be on there. Um, this is just going to be a quick walk round. Top Fuel Teachers on tour with an ex-student. Look at that, how cool. <laughs> so we've got an Evo there as well. There's the Mustangs. And the GTR. Over here, there's Scott, he's an ex-student. Scott will be with us on the Octane stand, uh, Octane show on Top Fuel Teacher stand with his RS there, absolutely lovely. Then we've got Lauren's ST, a dad's RS and a mum's TT. So, but yeah, we've got some more Mark 1 Mustangs here. Some more Mark 1 Mustangs here, which are quite nice. Look at them. Nice. Got a nice E36 there, Renault 5 Turbo, couple of Mark III Cortinas as well. Go on Mondeo, another Capri. TR7. Another ST500, we do like them. So as you can see, it's absolutely no, they will be I like I like them wheels. They're Escort Cosa style wheels on the STs. I really like them. And that little Fiesta as well. So there's a nice Texaco Cosworth over there as well. Um, again, that's on the other channel. You can see all these on my other channel. Here's our Project D getting some attention. Austin All Agro over there. An E30 that you won't see many like that. You won't see many E30s like that. There's a Mark II, well, yeah, Mark II Orion with a Focus RS lump in it. And then two absolutely amazing Mark I Escorts. Absolutely amazing. So that's what's at the show. Like I say, more footage on Roadhog Aid. 
we are going to go now. George, say back to the academy. Back to the academy. Thanks, George. That looked like a really good meet. Hopefully, I can get out to some more of you this year. Yeah, that'd be good, Chris, because we need to do top field teachers on tour. We do. We do indeed. Um, obviously, that was, well, not obviously, but that was Dee's second meet of the year. Uh, first one was at Bungalow Diner. I don't think I did a video for that one. Uh, not on here anyway. Uh, and obviously that was Steve's breakfast meet. I met Steve as well this time. Yes, yes. finally. Introduce myself <laughs> to Steve, uh, the runner of the breakfast meet. Obviously as well, um, we've got some shows coming up for Dee. Uh, we've actually just booked tickets for Adam Seafest oh, with Dee, with oh. Adam Seafest. So hopefully we'll get on his video as well and get a little bit more notice there. Um, with the shows this year, we're gonna hope, hope we can um, Increase on our haul of trophies that Project D has won, done very well. Um, let's have a little chat about the trophies. Yeah, yeah, we? let's go through it. First year out when D was a diesel, our first our first meet was at a bungalow diner, oh, DCUK okay. meet. And we got this little best build trophy, which was really nice. So that was, I think, I'm sh well, I think that was when D was still a diesel. Might not have been, might not have been, I don't know. Um, and then the, the next trophy we got oh, was this lovely one. You probably can't read that. Wow. Ah, it's wow. Sunset. Dark. It's gone dark. <laughs> um, this one here, this was presented to us by Chiro, uh, who runs Petrol Hedonism. We were at the Max Power reunion, not last year, but the year before. And I was sat in another car next to D. And I might have made a little bit noise when we when we uh, pulled in. I should do. And the marshals uh, then said, "You drive, D, don't you?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And they said they want us to take part in a rev off battle. I was a bit reluctant because I just I know it doesn't do the cars any good. But they they actually persuaded me, so I took part in the rev off battle. There is a couple of videos on YouTube of it happening as well, um, and we won. Uh, it was a few other cars, there was a Lambo in there, a couple of other Focuses, AMG Merc, a couple of V8 uh, Mustangs as well. Blimey, so you're telling me D beat <laughs> all of them cars? Yeah. Um, That's it was something the, epic. I think it was the crowd's choice, and obviously I got to tell a little bit of story about yeah. D, so I think it pulled some heartstrings. And um, yeah, we got this lovely trophy from Chiro uh, that he sent through the post. Um, absolutely amazing. Our, our first trophy trophy, little award, but that was a trophy, our first one. Then last year, um, we got these three amazing trophies and this little Shamlord Loxley's finger of approval. Very nice. Look it up, it's, it's a thing. Um, that we got given at the DC UK show last year, um, when we technically unveiled the new look of D with the body kit. There's videos of that online as well. But, the three big trophies. So we went to Festival of Wheels last year at Trinity Park Ipswich and it hammered down. It was a very, very wet day. A uh, couple of students turned up as well, which was nice. Um, we had a little bit of a walk round. We went on a Saturday, it was a two day show. We went on a Saturday. Um, we had a little bit of a walk round. We come back and there's this laminated A4 sheet of paper on the windscreen. And I'm like, oh, what's that? Because um, you never know, do you? No, oh, dear, you just... You know. And it said, best modified, um, which was absolutely amazing. Thought it was a bit of a joke at first, or, or what, I didn't know. <clears throat> and um, in the small print on it, it says, you know, uh, make yourself known to the stewards and you can get your trophy. So I obviously said that, um, went to see the stewards. They were going to have it in the main arena. You're going to drive the cars in, but it was hammering down. I was so, at that show. It was yes, horrible. Yeah. Um, so we just waited by the car and then this little golf buggy comes round and my mate said, them trophies are huge. I was expecting something like an egg cup. I really was. And then the guys pull up and they present us with this. Um, absolutely blown away by it. Absolutely blown away by it. Thing was, we didn't even, we didn't have our information board out telling us, telling everyone how D was built. We didn't even have the bonnet up, literally. It was all locked up, it was hammering down, the judges walked round and chose it on its merits alone, without knowing the story. So, proper proud moment there. Um, then, then, 
later on in the year a little bit, we went to one of our one of our favourite shows. Not not making the uh, <laughs> no, yeah. um, one of one, we had a lot of, one of many shows. Ford Power Live at Brands Hatch. I do love that show. I love that venue as well. We were at Brands Hatch, I think, about three or four times this year. Funnily enough, Monday I'm going out to watch truck racing. So. Yeah, we went to um, Brands Hatch. We were invited along to Instagram Corner, uh, which was nice. And <laughs> we won first place in Instagram Corner. Absolutely blown away by that as well. The judges obviously know the story of Dee and they wanted me to talk about it a bit. So obviously <coughs> we all know I can talk for hours <laughs> and hours about what we do here. And told the story, got a lot of congratulations, got this amazing trophy. And then another one of our another one of our favourite shows is Modified Live at Snetterton. That's obviously all cars, all welcome to that. And um, we've been there for the last three or four years. And I love that show as well. Not too far away, and I love Snetterton. And we were invited to Instagram Corner on that as well. Obviously, it was about a month after Four Power Live, so I just didn't expect anything. I was just chuffed to be invited back to Instagram Corner again. And we won second place on Instagram Corner at Modified Live. So again, just blown away by it. We, um, Ollie, we all know Ollie. Ollie was with us at that event as well. So when we got called up to get the trophy, I dragged him up with us and that, um, which was really nice. Again, I think there's some videos knocking about online of it all. But yeah, I mean, then three amazing trophies we won last year. Now, we're gonna need a bigger cabinet, I think, because I want, oh, I want us to win more, I really do. And don't forget, the WRC will be coming out this year. It's, it's going on well, it is going well. Um, it's getting wrapped this next week? Yeah, next. Next. week after next, in no, Easter, next in Easter, yeah. It's getting wrapped in Easter. So hopefully we can win some trophies with that as well, just just for the amazingness of it and how it's being built with all the students' help. So that's our little haul at the moment. Um, I hope we can get more. Now, you kind of missed a bit there. You've talked about the trophies, but you've not talked about the personalities who have seen this car. Well, that may have driven <laughs> a certain yeah. looking... Right. Um, <laughs> no, no, Chris is very right. Um, we were a little bit starstruck last year and we got to meet a couple of motorsport celebrities. Now, D, the livery for D, the Texco livery, um, is based on a 1998 Eggenberger RS500 Sierra um, RS5, yeah, RS500, yeah. that raced in the British Touring Cars. Now, the man that drove that was the legend, is Steve Soper. Well, last year, I met Steve Soper, and we got him sat in the car. In fact, Chris, have a look at these little pictures. Absolutely amazing and Steve he loved the story of the car as well and he actually shared it on his Twitter. Wow. He actually shared the story of it on his Twitter. So if you ever do get to see this Steve, honestly we are still absolutely like amazed and I like, thank you, you know. And then at another event we went to which we did enter to have D made into a Hot Wheels but we didn't get into the top ten. Um, but we went to the finals, uh, the UK finals at Bista Heritage Centre. That's the one. And um, there, one of the judges was Steve Parrish. Now, Steve is an ex-MotoGP racer. If you know about motorbikes and that, he commentates on them. He's only just given up racing last year as well. Again, absolutely fantastic guy. He, he gave us the time to tell our story and he listened and he related, absolutely amazing. And check out these pics. Again, just, just amazing, um, proper starstruck. Um, talking of starstruck as well, there's some more celebrities on our hit list. There are, we'll keep it quiet. But, um, we do have some more celebrities on our hit list for 
Project D appearances. Hopefully, hopefully we can we can bump into them. Um, and the one I'm one I'm mainly thinking about. Not going to say who it is. He's aware of Project D as well, and he likes it. So hopefully we can bump into him at some point. Um, we have been asked to display D at the Super Tour event at Brands Hatch. Can't remember the date, but we were there last year on display, which is where we saw Steve Zober. Um, and we've also been asked to display D for the second round, I think, of the BTCC, British Touring Card Championship, at Brands Hatch as well. So if you are at Brands Hatch for either of them events, come find us, say hello, have a look at the amazing car that our students have helped build. So we're definitely in the waffle zone now. I think so, I think we're, we're there. Yeah, so we're going to round this video off here now. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching and putting up with us. It's goodbye from Chris. See ya. And it's goodbye from me. And we both wish you an amazing Easter.